Hi. Hi. Okay, so we are talking about some different tools that you can use. For your dog or your cats. I, I actually have never had a cat, so I wasn't sure if they were scared of the fireworks too, but it kind of just depends on the animal, right? Exactly, in their own emotional state. So, um, Gertie is sporting the Thunder shirt, which we kind of talked about earlier. Yeah. Um, and that one kind of just helps with like compression. It's like having a weighted blanket or a big hug. Okay. Um, and that's this guy. They also have um, like calming drops and like calming treats for dogs and cats. Are these things that we can pick up like at PetSmart or Petco, or is it something you probably need to order online? So, you can actually find all of these at your local pet store. For okay. example, I got all of these from the Petco off Greenback and Auburn. Okay, love. Um, but so, yeah, so they sell. Treats and calming drops to kind of just help um, dogs, and that's like. What is the treat that Gertie is eating? Yeah, right so now? this is a do it yourself one. So this is just a bone Gertie really likes. Okay. And I just stuffed it with her wet food, which is already pretty gone, and some treats. Okay. But you could freeze that. Another really good version of that would be the Kong. Which you can stuff with um, anything from bananas, yogurt, peanut butter, their food, okay. and freeze it. Um. Yeah, I hear that that's good because it takes a lot of energy. Okay, someone explained it to me like this Imagine that you sit at your desk all day long, but when you get home, you're exhausted. That's what you want to do for your dog or cat. You want them to be mentally exhausted too, so that they're a little more tired before those fireworks go off. Yeah, exactly. And it's, you know, think of it like in the morning of 4th of July, if your dog just sits around or your cat just sits around all day, they're just recharging their batteries and they're getting fuller and fuller and fuller. But if I like take them on a little hike or a walk or I do a lot of enrichment or training with them, then it helps to kind of deplete their batteries so they have less energy to devote to being stressed or afraid. Okay, and love that. That can be really helpful with management. Well, what is this? Yeah, so this is really great. So it's um, it's pheromone based. So they have it for dogs and cats, and it's pheromones found naturally in the animal to help calm them. And there's wall plugins, there's calming collars, like this guy, um, and there's even calming sprays like this guy. Okay. Um, so basically, it's a really good way to naturally help calm them down. And I big thing I recommend, like all of this stuff you can get from your vet. If you know that 4th of July is really traumatizing or your dog or cat is really, has a really hard time with a lot of like visual or auditory stimulation, you have a couple days to partner with your vet and see if there's other means that you need to take. Okay. But for a lot of animals, this is enough, you know, providing enrichment. Yeah, uh, we bought one of these before, me and um, Davey T, to put the dog food in for them to, um, be able to get the dog food out. There's like holes in it, and they got to play with the ball to be able to try and figure out how they can get out all of their actual dog food. So even though it says for treats, you can use it for your dog food too. And then of course, their favorite squeaky toys. Look at Gertie's like, er, but wait a minute, where's food? I need some more food. <laughs> I need some more food. All right, uh, thank you so much for joining us. If people want to find you, you do training for dogs. Do you take the dogs or you just come by like every couple days? Yeah, so I specialize in behavior consulting. So I, I come by a couple days at your home or I work with you and your dog one on one to create a training and enrichment plan to target a lot of fear and anxiety based behaviors. Okay, love that. Where can people find you? Um, so online um, at DACPAC.com or um, my phone number 916 878 0588. Okay, before I was like, DAC, when I saw it in there, I'm like, oh, I think they misspelled PAC. But no, it's because that's her last name. T? Pack, her last name. Got it. Thank you. All right, it's officially time.